realise it's been a while since I did any updates on the Digital Watch project. It is still live. I'm making quite a bit of progress on getting this thing released. So I thought I'd just do kind of a shorter video running through where I'm at, what I'm up to and what my plans are for this project. At the moment I'm actually upgrading the PCB design. Um, a couple of little tweaks which I'm going to run through shortly. This is just going to kind of be a vlog style update video. I'd also just like to say last night we reached 1000 subscribers which is an amazing achievement or I think it is anyway. I'm really pleased that this channel is sort of taking a hold and you guys are getting involved in the comment sections and asking about videos and questions. It's just great to see this project on the rise and all your positive feedback that I get. So anyway, let's get back to the digital watch and let me show you where I'm up to at the moment. Okay, so what you might notice is quite a big change to the design is the button configuration. Now, what we had before was a set of micro switches inside the case that then have to be hand soldered to various contacts on the PCB. But what I want to do is develop this case, uh, develop the movement so that it's a complete unit and no additional soldering is required. So I've actually been looking at these side mounted switches and to make these sort of usable in this case design, I've used these notches, which are gonna help with a couple of things. They're also gonna help with situating the movement into the case properly. We'll make sure that this notch sort of aligns with a notch in the case so that the movement will always be perfectly upright. But what it'll also do is, it'll mean that there's no additional soldering and what we'll do is 3D print a button that'll sit in the case and pushes against a switch that sits in here. I've got a couple of these to show you at the moment. So I'll run some B-roll of the switches that I'm looking at. So if you look in the back of this, we can see we've got these micro switches. Quite familiar with these, they're very cheap and easy to use, which has been great to get me going. But I think I do want a nicer solution than this. So what I've been looking at using, these are the switches that we're looking at. Yeah, they're very small, but I think once they're soldered onto the board, they'll be a great option. So you can see there, that is the actual button component. And then if I spin this round, I've got the traces just there, three pins. And the kind of arrangement I'm wanting to look at is if that's the best kind of representation I can get. So this micro switch would actually be soldered directly onto the board so that all that we need to do when we're assembling the watch is just drop it directly into the case. So that's gonna be the next big change. I'm gonna get these drawings finished up so I can get a new set of PCBs ordered. And then the next thing I wanna show you are the cases. So if you've been following this YouTube channel for a little while, you'll have seen that I've recently started looking at various 3D printing services um, from other manufacturers such as PCBWay and this is actually from, is it JLC PCB? But basically you can get very high quality resin 3D prints that you just wouldn't really be able to achieve at home unless you had quite an expensive machine. So I think one thing that I've been really trying to work out over the past couple of months and probably since my last video is what do I do with this project next? Because obviously I'd love to have this out for the masses. I'd love all you guys to have a go at making this. But I know not everybody has the capability to do surface mounted soldering. Not everybody has the capability to do 3D printing. My goal with this at the moment is to get the boards pre-assembled and get a batch of the cases, resin 3D printed, all packaged up and a DIY kit that you can build at home you can assemble the watch and start using it from the get-go. If you like programming, you'll be able to use the programming board, plug it into your Arduino software, and be able to update the code and put various different functions on it, such as a stopwatch, timer, date, maybe moon phase, kind of things like that. If you're into 3D printing, you could take the models for the 3D printed cases, print them in different colors, maybe add different buttons on them or different 
features, whatever you want to do, you could do that. If you like me and you like programming and 3D printing, you could do both. But what I want to do is target this at people that can't do either and they can get a functional watch all the way up to people like me that can do both and want to do both. So that's my current goal. And I think to do this, there's a lot of work still. At the moment, I'm looking into the compliance and regulations around releasing a hardware project, which is a bit of a minefield and it's a bit of a rabbit hole that I've got into. So if there's anybody out there that knows anything about this, then I would appreciate you getting in touch. I could really do the hand. Uh, it all seems quite scary at the moment, but I'm sure it's probably not as bad as it seems. But yeah, if you do know anything about compliance and regulations with hardware projects, then give me a heads up and uh, I'd love to have a chat. So this video hasn't been as exciting and hasn't been as much to show you as normal. A lot of the work in this is kind of behind the scenes. It's quite boring stuff like PCB design uh, and reading up on certain electronics regulations. So not something that would make a great YouTube video, but I hope this has given you a bit of an insight into where I'm at with it and what my plans are. Like I said, if you think you could help out with any of the compliance stuff, then give me a shout, that'd be, I'd really appreciate that. Like I said, my next steps are get these new style of switches working, get that all in a prototype stage, but in the background, I'm also speaking to suppliers that would be able to produce an assembled board for me, and also I'm trying various 3D printing samples. Again, thank you to the thousand of you that subscribe. If you haven't yet, please hit subscribe. I wanna try and get to 10,000 by the end of 2025, which I know is a big task, but I think we can do it with the current trajectory. If you're enjoying this kind of content, please hit me up, send me a message, let me know what kind of things you want me to cover. If you've seen any other cool projects you want me to look at, then do let me know. But for now, I've got some ex more watches on the way, including a chronograph. If you wanna find out the latest about that, I'll definitely check out my Instagram. That's where I kind of post my latest updates. But for now, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.